Welcome back to the Auction Brief. Cutting through the narratives and the noise to bring you the best auction draft inside and strategy in the business. And now here's your host, Drew Davenport. Hey everybody, thanks for joining me for episode 22, another installment of the Shrug Your Shoulders series. With two of the biggest fantasy draft weekends of the whole summer coming up, I wanted to get back into the series and give you three more guys that you can nominate in your auctions that fit the Shrug Your Shoulders strategy. First up, quarterback Cam Newton. Am I sold on what Cam Newton's going to do in New England? Heck no. But we've all seen his upside, and that's the kind of thing you're trying to chase with a shrug your shoulders guy. He's probably going to struggle a little bit out of the gate, and New England does play a first place schedule. But if they let him run and use his strengths, we've all seen what he can do. So the fact that he's going in the mid QB2 range is perfect for the shrug your shoulders series. If you nominate him and somebody's a little too excited about him, you can let him go. But if you snag him for a reasonable deal, then just pair him up with somebody like Ben Roethlisberger, Philip Rivers, or Jared Goff, and take away the risk. Next, we have running back James White. He's currently going in the running back 31 range. For a guy that finished as the PPR running back 18 last year, this seems a little bit low. So get him out there before some of the more sexy running back names are off the board. He's caught almost 160 passes the last two years. And even though Brady's now gone, we do have a quarterback in town who does like to check the ball down. On top of that, New England hasn't really done a lot to add talented pass catchers to the team. Their wide receiver core is mediocre, and there really isn't a tight end to speak of. He's the type of guy that can make your roster, because while you're paying market price for the elite guys at other positions, you can get James White cheaply and use him as an RB2, RB3, or flex spot. And finally, wide receiver Michael Gallup. He's getting no respect because of the presence of C.D. Lamb. He's coming off the board as the wide receiver 31. He only played 14 games and piled up over 1,100 yards. And did you know that he actually out-targeted Amari Cooper on a per-game basis when they played? Get Gallup out there and hope that you get him on your roster. And if you don't because he's too expensive, well, isn't that the whole point of what we're doing? The auction brief is adjourned.